the paper, Professor Zoran Popovic. Thank you for the announcement. You have already heard the title, Feds and Chick Mortality Depending on Diet at the Farm and Year. Um, I will present to you the basic uh, facts about uh, this paper. As you know, the number of uh, peasant chicks uh, is uh, under the reduction through years. It was influenced uh, by a behavior of uh, humans. Uh, and uh, the technology uh, helps us uh, in the solving certain problems. In Serbia, we have approximately 30 uh, uh, peasant farms with approximately one million of uh, peasant chicks. Uh, the needs uh, are somewhat larger than uh, the uh, number of uh, uh, peasant chicks produced. Uh, there should be a differentiation within the production as it is in case of other species in the category of domestic animals, where we clearly know uh, what is the new nucleus, uh, the reproductive uh, and commercial values. As for this investigation, we are we're dealing with the loss of uh, pheasant chicks on two farmhouses uh, in places Šumarice and Vranice during the period of 2008-2010. Experiment was planned as factorial where influence of farms and year of pheasant chick mortality was researched. Uh, the eggs uh, were obtained from the pheasantry uh, for the incubation and the production of pheasant chicks. The first farm, uh, up to the 28th day, they were, uh, the chicks were fed with concentrate mixture with 28% of protein and then uh, till the uh, 42nd day with concentrate uh, feed with 24% uh, of protein. On the second fe uh, pheasantry, we used 22% of protein. The first farm uh, pheasants were reared uh, on the full flooring facility till the 15th day and uh, the battery system on the second farm. Uh, um, after that, they were, the peasant chick were transferred uh, to the facilities with boxes until the 42nd day of rearing. As for the results, uh, we are showing here a graph according to the years and according to the litters, the losses are shown according to the year. Um, the last litters had the greater losses. In the first pheasant farm, the least loss was during the uh, first litter in 2008, and the greatest losses were recorded uh, at 55% uh, in the seventh litter, which means these are great losses. Uh, as for the second pheasant farm, we have uh, data divided according to years of investigation and the losses were from 7.5% in 2009 up to 37% uh, in 2008. It is interesting to uh, emphasize uh, that the uh, whole production for all the litters 
In the first pheasant house, we had the increase of losses from 9 to 24 percent, while in the second pheasant farm, we have the opposite trend with the reduction of losses from 21 to 12%. It is interesting to point out that the influence of feed and uh, uh, did not show significant significant influence of uh, diet, but it could be said that other factors were more influential, including interaction of uh, factors, of research factors such as year, temperature, ventilation, um, hygiene, and also it is important to point out that the feeling can have a great influence on body mass, body mass but not to the mortality. We have to take care of the feed composition, the content of essential amino acids in the content of protein. And also, let us conclude that the mortality of pheasants Chicks uh, uh, had free variations without significant influence from research uh, research factors and the based uh, on comparison with other literary resources it was not satisfying. Therefore it is necessary to pay more attention to factors that in higher measures dictate the mortality rates such as microclimate, population density, health care and also the weather conditions during the uh, preparatory period. Uh, for before, before the release uh, into the wild. These factors uh, include uh, serious measures which should be taken into account um, and they help uh, the effects uh, of uh, production. Thank you.